paperback. And I finally got a bunch of canvases and some new paint. And it's not 100 degrees with the heat index, so we're ready to go. Um, this one I'm doing right here. Is it 12 by 24, I think it is? This is the um, fire painting that got ruined. I've gessoed it. I've done two coats of gesso. And I think we've successfully covered up all the weird spots. It's at an odd texture in places, but I'm sure it's fine. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Today we're going to do just a quick... I think we're going to do another flip and drag. I thought about recreating the um, fire painting, but that just seems kind of maudlin. So, we're going to do a study in blues, I think, today. Because that's what I have made up. Alright, let's start with white. And I think we'll do this navy. That's a big chunk. That's gross. Alright. Got way too much paint here, but we'll go with it. Bug. Quite a few air bubbles there. I'm just going to let them try to pop a bit. Alright, I like the way this looks so far. Pretty cool. <laughs>
keep some of my lacing this time. Alright, I'm going to clean myself off and see what it looks like in a few minutes. Okay, we're back. It hasn't really changed too much. There's been a few tiny little air bubbles that have popped that made little speckles. That's about it. I can see from the phone the black parts look really black on the video, but they're not really black in real life. Let's go down and see if we can get a lot of variation. also very reflective. You can see my paints on the shelf above. A lot of lacing. There's a cool big cell there. This one's really cool, guys. Okay. If you enjoyed watching and you want to see more, please go ahead and go subscribe down below. And we'll see you next time.